if you want to practice some soccer skills, you need a ball that you can kick. If you have a soccer ball, great. If not, a playground ball or some other ball that's a little bit uh, heavier. A beach ball probably wouldn't work too well, but a playground ball or even a soccer ball would work just fine. So I have set up some boxes, recycled boxes, that I'll use as my targets. And I used a water bottle as my cone to have my starting point. So if I want to practice kicking, I'm going to practice by trying to kick my ball into the targets that I have set up. Now I put chairs behind them so that the boxes don't fall over after I kick uh, the ball into them. You can also use boxes as goals. So if you have someone else that you can play a little game with and you want to set up uh, a cardboard box on one end and another cardboard box on the other end and have a little game, that works great. Any size box, if you have a bigger box for a bigger goal or something a little smaller for a smaller goal, boxes are a great way to make a goal if you don't have one. Um, and water bottles can be a great way to have cones if you don't have one. So after I'll show you this, I'll also show you how you can use some water bottles to set up on the field and play a little game with that as well. So remember when we kick a soccer ball, we step on the side of the ball with our opposite foot and we kick with our kicking foot using the inside of our foot. We went over this when we were at health time. So I'm gonna try and kick the ball into all three targets. You can move uh, your starting point as far or close to the boxes as you like, whatever you feel comfortable with. You can move them back as you get a little better and you practice a little bit more today. Okay, I'll start with the big box first. a great way to use some cardboard boxes. Like I said, you could also use them as goals. Now I'll show you a little, uh, what, couple fun water bottle activities you can do. So now we have some soccer skills that you can practice using water bottles. I have seven water bottles out there and I filled all of them up with a little bit of water. I'll show you two different things that you can do. The first one is you can use the water bottles like cones. You can set them up in a line and practice weaving in and out of the water bottles, getting to the end, coming back to the beginning, and trying again. So you can see how they're set up like this. And then the other activity is you take the water bottles, scatter them around the field or your yard, wherever you are, and you dribble the soccer ball and try and kick them into each of the water bottles and you're trying to knock them down. So this one weaving in and out, you're trying not to knock them down. You want to keep the ball as close to your body as possible when you weave in and out of the cones, okay? So I'll show you the weaving in and out first, and then I'll show you the one where you try and knock the water bottles down. All right, let's give it a try. So that was to practice weaving in and out, keeping the ball as close to your body as possible. Now let's check out how to knock the water bottles down. And now I spread out the water bottles all over the yard. They're going to be my targets. I'm going to put the ball on the ground, practice dribbling around, and then practice kicking the ball into the water bottles and trying to knock all seven. I have seven, seven of them down. Okay, let's give it a try. So there's a little fun you could have. You could do that by yourself. You could do it with someone else. Uh, so there's lots of ways that you can use recycled materials when practicing soccer skills.